Hello there. SNP politicians closed ranks and threw one of their staffers under the bus. They're all as bad as each other. But had a Tory MP done exactly the same as this, there would be wall-to-wall -wall screeching resignation demands. But it wasn't, so there won't be. A case of sexual misconduct gets an apology for the victim, an SNP staff member. An apology to the House from the pest, SNP MP Patrick Grady, and a two-day suspension for him from the House of Commons. Plus the overwhelming support of his fellow SNP MPs as they and their staff members airbrush the victim out of their picture. STV reported that the victim, who wants to remain anonymous, said, There seems to be no mention of myself, the victim, in any of it. Instead, they are focusing on supporting the harasser. Not exactly tying in with Nicola Sturgeon's zero tolerance of these things, is it? And the victim also said that only one SNP MP had made contact with him since the incident. But Ian Blackford is also now under fire for reportedly directing his fellow MPs to back Mr Grady and also for what some are saying is celebrating Mr Grady's let off. So what's the message to others from the SNP hierarchy? You'd better keep quiet for the sake of independence. Now, I've heard something like that before. Ah, yes, from a Labour MP. But how many times has Ian Blackford shouted this in the House? Resign! Resign! Resign before this House is forced to remove him! Talk about sheer hypocrisy. For the Prime Minister! Will the Prime Minister now take the opportunity and resign? One rule for one, etc, etc, etc. And Blackford also said this. Yeah. It's not just the Prime Minister that we have zero confidence in. It's the broken Westminster system that puts a man like him in power. Exactly. Can he tell us? But he's now just become a part of that whole mess in Westminster. He just needs to look in the mirror to see it. They are all more interested in themselves and power. In Blackford's case, power over Scotland. More interested in that than anything else. We voters must make better choices as a collective. But Boris might be right about Blackford. Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how does the Prime Minister expect to continue when even unionist leaders in Scotland won't back them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, want, I want to thank my, uh, uh, right, the right honourable gentleman for his characteristic uh, warm words. Uh, and, uh, just, uh, and, uh, and actually, Mr Speaker, I, wa I want to say that the, the biggest and most powerful and effective advocate of the United Kingdom over the last uh, time that I've been in, 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 in has been that man there. Yeah. He's going to last uh, here as, as leader of the S SNP. Long may, uh, long may he rest in place. But he could be wrong if Bunter Blackford resigns. But there's fat chance of that. <laughs>